Hello lovelies and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you've all been keeping okay. So I have a brand new video for you this Sunday and it is going to be a product review. A product I have tried before, I have tried another one from their range which is the Ace range and that is Ace for Whites, which I really like. We are halfway through that bottle. I have seen the Ace for Colours recently and I really, really wanted to try it out. So I thought, what better way um, to do a video on it to show you guys what I think. So I will be sharing with you, sharing with you, sorry, all my thoughts and opinions, um, what I liked, what I didn't like, and obviously sharing it with you guys. Let me know what you think. Um, if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Um, I would really like to do some more of these, so if this is your kind of thing, let me know. So, obviously, I'll read the back out to you. I've never used it before. So, formula strong on greasy food stains, so gentle you can pour it in the heart of your wash. Um, yes, and it just says, obviously, use it neat for tough stains. Um, don't use on metallic parts, buttons, or embroidery. Um, add detergent as usual, measure out four caps, um, 100 milliliter of ace into the cap dispenser or pour directly onto the laundry. So I used to use Vanish and it was from Poundland, obviously I do love Poundland. It was the big tubs that you get, so it is the pink one I used to get. You have the Vanish for Gold, the big tubs, until I found the Oxy Action, I think it's Oxy Action. Astonished one, yes, I think the words just fell out of my mouth then. Yeah, um, obviously four pound price difference and it done exactly the same thing and I got exactly the same results, but I would like something a bit better. I have heard really, really, really good things about this. So I'm hoping my feedback will help you guys. So um, if you're interested in this kind of thing, make sure you stick around and let's get going. I do apologize, my tag was just sticking out the whole time I recorded that video. It's always really annoying when things like that happen, when I watched it back anyway. And also I am in front of the door today because since moving house, I just cannot find the right lighting anywhere and it drives me absolutely insane. So I do apologize. Hopefully I will be in the same spot next week and you will be able to see me nice and clear. My next thing before moving on is when you're in Poundland, I'm gonna use this as an example. So obviously my Ace Stain Remover is a 700 milliliter bottle, but when I actually got it, um, there was a 550 ml bottle next to it. Um, I find with Poundland, um, you can get some really good bargains, but you really do need to scan. I find with like fabric conditioner and things like that, um, they will not be hidden, but you just need to use your brain and scan the shelves a bit more and not just grab the first one you see, if that makes sense. So yeah, a 700 milliliter bottle or a 550 milliliter bottle. So you get 150 mil more for exactly the same price. So I knew what one I was gonna grab. So it's the same product. So next time you're in Poundland, um, make sure you keep your eyes open because you might be missing a bargain. Right, now we can move on again. So for this example, I tried to find the most stained item of clothing I could. On this one, it is a school shirt and it is a paint stain. Um, I put it on neat and I left it for about two hours and left to soak. So as you can see, it has removed the stain fairly well. I really am quite impressed with any items we've ever had paint on. I have ended up throwing away. So I am really impressed. It's faded it down a lot in colour and I definitely will be using it again. Obviously, the mark is still there, but I wanted to try and use the toughest mark I could to see the best results as possible. I liked and what I didn't like. So I only have the one thing for you that I didn't get on with. And that was the smell. Once I had put the product on my item of clothing and left it, I found it had a bit of a smell to it. I think it smelled a bit like vinegar. Um, it's a bit odd. I don't know if that's me being weird or if anyone else has noticed this. Um, if it's something in the product, it being so neat, being strong, so concentrated or and so on. Um, I'm not sure. 
but yeah that's the only thing the smell just put me off a little bit so sorry if i'm moving about a little bit i haven't got my stand with me at the minute so i am just on my phone so moving on to everything i did like so the first thing i absolutely loved about it was the cover the cover the color sorry so it's one of my favorite colors of course um, the packaging next stands out really well. I know you find with some products, um, they're pretty basic, but I really like the colours they use. The nozzle on the top, it has a pourer, so you can't spill it. So you always know sort of how much you're going to get, and it's not going to drip out. It has a really good locking top on it, which I really liked. The fact you can put the product on, and I could see it working straight away. Um, it does it quite quickly. There are lots and lots of things I yeah lots of things i loved really the price it was only a pound um i definitely would recommend this product like i said in my example i try to use the most um obviously stained item of clothing possible and obviously it didn't come out completely but that's what i wanted i wanted to see how much of a you know good result i could get and i am fairly impressed so this is my review for my Ace Stain Remover. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Um, I would love you to subscribe. If you press the little bell down below, you will get notifications as to when I post new videos. Um, I post every Sunday. Thank you for watching this video. If you like things like this, make sure you stick around. And I'll see you next week, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.